As we get started with section 8.1, I wanted to define some terms for you. And the first term is what is called a line. And a line is a set of points. And it takes two points to determine a line. And so the picture that you see on the bottom of the screen, which is a line, and you can tell because the arrows at both ends show you that the, the set of points is extending infinitely in both directions. We could call that line, line AD. And the symbol for a line, you take the letters that are on the line and you put like a line symbol above it. So line AD. But since any two points determine the line, you could also call that line uh, line BC. So I just picked two different points. We could also call that line line AC. And there are other options, but those are the three that I am going to talk about. The next thing that I want to tell you is what a line segment is. A segment is a subset of the line or a portion of the line that has a starting and a stopping point. So we could talk about segment AC. And the symbol for a segment is just a straight bar over the, the letters. And segment AC starts at point A and extends along the line and then stops at point C. That would be line segment AC. We could also talk about a different line segment. We could talk about line segment uh, BD. These are different line segments. Line segment BD, which I can do in green here, starts at B and extends and ends at D. So we've got lines, we've got line segments. The next figure that I just want to give you uh, a picture of is what's called a ray. A ray is like a ray of sunshine that leaves the sun and goes in one direction. So a ray starts at a point and goes in one direction. So for instance, if I talked here about ray BD, I'm going to talk about the ray that starts at B and goes in the direction of D. So notice the arrow is just on one end. And so on my picture, that starts here at B and then goes in the direction of D and then it goes on forever and ever. Now, notice with a ray, if you change the order, so if I have ray uh, db, notice the order matters in, in a ray. So db now is the ray that starts at d and goes in the direction of b. So that is something that is completely different. A few other things to mention to you. Uh, I told you about a segment being a subset of the line that has a starting and a stopping point. We can talk about an open segment. An open segment is just a segment that does not include the endpoints. So for instance, I could have A, B, and the open segment, we put some open circles on the end like a barbell. And so that is going to be the open segment that starts at A but doesn't include it, ends at B, and does not include that point, and then we connect the dots that are in between. There's also the idea of a half open segment. And a half open segment is basically what it sounds like. It is a segment that includes one endpoint and it does not include the other endpoint. So for instance, I can have open segment from A to D and I'm just going to include point A and I'm going to leave point D open. And so when I trace that on my little line here, I have point A and then it cuts across and it leaves D open. The last Thing that I'm going to mention here uh, before we do one or two quick examples is what a half line is. And a half line is a ray that does not include the endpoint. So a half line is a ray that does not include the endpoint. So that, for instance, if I have uh, if I have half line CA. The way you notate that is you put an open circle over the starting point and then an arrow in the direction it's going in. So on my figure, I've got CA, so I start at C and I go in the direction of A. That is a half line. 
So with all of this information that you see, what we're going to do is we're just going to do two quick problems uh, that are indicative of many of the problems you're going to find in your section. And it relates back to what we talked about a long time ago when we dealt with sets. So for instance, here is a pretty typical problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, for instance, segment AB, and I'm going to union it with segment BD, and I want to know what the result is. Now, I know it's been a little while. Remember, union is what we get when we join sets together. So if AB starts at A and goes in the direction of B, and then BD starts at B and goes all the way to D, what do I get when I join together the red segment and the green segment? Well, I get the segment that starts at A and goes all the way to D. And so that is the answer, segment AD. Something similar, one more problem for us, and then you can do your homework, is what do I get if I take, let's say, ray, the ray that goes from A in the direction of B, and I'm going to intersect that with the ray that starts at uh, C and goes in the direction of A. Now remember, intersection is what two sets of have in common. So we're talking about sets of points. So first, I've got the ray that starts at A and goes in the direction of B. So it's all of these points here. And then next, I've got the ray that starts at C and goes in the direction of A, so all of these points together. And so looking at that picture, we don't want everything this time. We want what the red and the green have in common. And you can see what they have in common starts here at A and it ends here at C. And that is a segment that starts at A, ends at C, and there you go. And so when you're doing these problems, you can get any figure. Uh, you can get lines and segments and rays. Just make sure you draw your picture. And good luck. Do well.